today I'm gonna improve my Smash por 3 with Mario Lozano. Mario, we are here in Padelin Doha, one of the best clubs that I ever seen, in a mejor set court, exactly. one of the best courts ever. And today you have one of the most difficult challenges ever to teach me <laughs> the Smash por tres. So please give me some tips. Honestly, it's the, it's the more hardest shot in paddle. It's really, really difficult because it depends on a lot of things. It's not, uh, it not depends uh, only about one. So we'll focus in the three most important things: the preparation, the first moment. So when I go with the racket behind of my head, because if not, we don't have enough movement for for go ahead with my movement over my head. The second part, uh, we can put in the same uh, part the, um, uh, our grip. We can, we can hit with continental grip or we can move our hand a little bit to the left side. But uh, it's the pen of maybe it's for advanced level. In the beginning, we can start with, uh, with continental. Second thing is the properly point of contact. So one of the most important things is when I speak with my, um, with my players, is when the ball is coming, it's, it's really, really important to use our left hand and keep the ball always at the same line of my arm. Why? Because when the ball is close to my hand, I have the best, best, best point of reference to remove my hand and switch for my racket. Because if not, will appear the most uh, normal mistake is that we will hit the ball always far off our body for our right side. I think one of the most important things when I understand all the other things is how can I use my body? So I need to bend a little bit my body and I need to go up and go ahead up to, to feel the contact with the ball uh, the most higher possible. Because Mario, we've seen the professional paddle players, Galán, Tapia, Lebron, Coelho, that they blend so much and it's like all the power came from their legs, exactly. right? Exactly. It's, not, it's not about the arm, it's about, it's like you're a salmon. We you need, know? exactly, it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a good example. But that's why it's really important to bend our uh, little bit our, uh, our legs and we need to go at the same time up and we need to feel the contact so, so, so high. What about the wrist? Because here in this shot, I guess we cannot have like a fixed wrist. We need to exactly. move it, right? If we hit the ball between the middle of the court and the net, it's okay, we can hit flat and nothing's happened. But from the middle of the court until the, the, the last white line, we must use our wrist because if no, it's, it's almost impossible. One more important point is where the ball should bounce. If we, uh, if we can create a lot of a spin, it's okay if we make the, um, we make the, the, the bounce of the ball close to the, to the, to the back glass because the ball is coming with a lot of a spin. So when the ball touches the, the floor and uh, very quickly the glass, the ball will climb. Mario, one extra bonus tip because you were telling me that the smash portraits change mm -hmm. depending on where you are in the court. Exactly, because sometimes in the middle, when we are close to the net, we can, we can hit a little bit more exactly, flat. flat. No need, to sp no need to spin, exactly. But when we are far, for example, the same like Tapia smash, and we are uh, sometimes behind the white line or sometimes close to the white line, a lot of people think that we need to hit the ball for the first white line or a little bit from the top, but it's the opposite. We need less power and more spin, more acceleration. This tip is for all the players that want to improve this type of shots. One of the best uh, exercises that you can improve alone in your, in your house, in your court, is with the basket close of you, you can throw the ball to yourself and try to create this type of line. With this type of a spin, if you go with more acceleration, you can reach the ball out. And what would you say that is the, the, the trick of Agustin Tapia's Smash for Tres? I think it's, uh, you cannot compare this type of Smash because it's uh, so, so different. Than, I, I think he, have, he has something different than, than us inside of his body. But Mario, can you teach me something about his Smash while I'm doing it? Okay, it, it, it is possible in, uh, in, a, in a different way, but we can read the sure. same point. Let's go. Vamos. Let's see how my Smash for Tres goes. Vamos, Mario. Come on, go with your left arm. Exactly. So, try to remove your left arm very quickly. Again, 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 again. Exactly. Exactly. Nice, 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 nice. Again, go with your feet close and push up. Okay, come on again. Keep the ball in the higher point. Come on. Come on, go for the last one. Go for the last one. Again, again, again. Let's go. Last one. Left hand and try to remove quickly. Yeah. Mario, six first balls, not the best, man. I think the most important things, uh, they are fitting, it's okay, but try the, the same I told you before, 
Now when the ball is coming, now try to be focused only in two things. All right. So try to put your feet a little bit more close okay. and bend your body, the same I told you before. And now try to make one thing. Now when the ball is coming and I turn my body at the same time, try to go with your left arm at the same line of view. Okay. okay. So when I feel that the ball is, is close to my hand, try to remove quickly, okay, very quickly and try to switch for your racket. Perfect. Okay. Try to create a spin, but at the same time when I push up, Remove your hand and shoot for your, for your racket. Okay? I'm gonna focus on don't, those. Don't two be things. worried about the speed. Let's go. Let's go. Go with your feet close. Left hand. Exactly. Come on. Remove quickly. Okay. Left hand. Okay. This ball was bad. Really bad. Ba. Come on again. Okay. Nice. I like it. But the only thing. Okay. Continue with the same thing. Your feet are more close now. You are hitting the ball now in a proper position, but now imagine the ball is a clock, okay? If we need to hit flat, it's okay. We can hit the ball for the, no, for the head logo, but now we need to create a spin, right? Yeah. So imagine the ball is a clock between 9, 10, and 11. Try to imagine that you are hugging the ball for 11 o'clock, right. okay? That's why it's important to switch my left hand and hug the ball for this side and not for this side. Got it. Okay? Come on. Let's go. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Come on again. Go with your feet close. Push up and switch. No. Again. Come on. Hug the ball for the left side. Left side. Oh, they again. And now the same but higher. Again. Now try to use your legs. Use your legs and try to push up. Exactly. Look the difference. Amazing. Come on again. Go with your feet close. Push up. The last one on the best. Ah! We need more spin. Ah. All right, Mario. But I feel ready to do the challenge. Okay. Can you give me five balls, five easy balls, five medium balls, and five? Five tapia balls. Five tapia balls. Go ahead. Five easy balls. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> No way! Vamos! No! Let's go for the medium. Man, don't haste at the sea level. Come on, Pablo. Mucho! Nice, nice, nice. No way! It's the last chance to take three balls, Ma. I trust in you! No! So, Tapia's challenge, down the line. <laughs> Five impossible balls, trust Aquí me. Tengo otra buena. Ma. Ma. Oh. Ma. The grip, always, an excuse is the grip, is the grip. Come on, go ahead. No yeah. way, much more spin. Less power, more spin. Again, again. I, mm -hmm. I want another chance. Ma. The most difficult. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's do it, jump. Jump? Va Garrido. <laughs> no way! We are in Doha, sea level. Exactly. It's different to Madrid. This is that true, is something is that we need to take in consideration. And without, a, without joking, I mean, it no, is true. this is true. And uh, maybe the people uh, they doesn't know, but we are playing with AC inside of the club. That's true. So the temperature here is like uh, maybe 19 degrees. But I'm not telling that as an excuse. No, no. But course. something for people to take in mind. Exactly. Because it's not the same if you are in Sweden during winter that in Madrid in summer, that That's the ball, the ball, the ball flies. flies. We, are, we are at the same level of the sea. And uh, different than in Spain, the biggest difference than in Spain inside of the facilities is we are playing always with AC. So the temperature inside is uh, sometimes very low. But with AC or without AC, <laughs> my Smash Portress is way different to Tapia's. So different. And to yours, Smash, that is way better than me. But Mario, 
Thank you for helping me to improve so my much. Smash Portraits. I need to train more, eh? Need to train more, we need to spend more classes.